Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice functional equations given that f of sine 2x equals tan x and what is f of x? Here is a trigonometric function where we have this as sine 2x as a double angle because of these two. And here we have only tan x. But we are interested to find something different from trigonometry which is only f of x so to solve this is very simple as i'm going to be solving this in this very simple method so let's get into it when you consider the solution from here here we have suppose i let u equals if i let u equals sine 2x then we are going to have f of u equals tan x then after having this we want to make sure that we express tan x in terms of u and what to do is we are going to be calling from some trigonometric identity where we note that every tan x equals sine x divided by cos x and again if we have sine 2x it is equals 2 sine x cos x so these are the two important identity we are going to be applying later and again we have to show the relationship between tan and uh, sine. Let's say we have tan x equals 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2 sine x cos x. Or we can just say divided by sine 2x. How does this relate together? tan equals 1 minus cos 2x divided by sine 2x. Initially, we said tan x equals sine x divided by cos x. Now, it has become 1 minus cos 2x divided by sine x. Let's try and verify this. To verify this, we recall also that if you have cos 2x, cos 2x is given as 1 minus 2 sine square x or we can just simply say cos 2x equals 2 cos square x minus 1 so this is what we are going to have so we have this as a two double angle formula for the cos and we still have another one which is cos square x minus sine square x, but we don't need that. So out of these two, this is what we need. We need cos 2x equals 2 cos square x minus 1. So then let's try and uh, replace this. So by replacing this, we are going to have tan x. So we apply the first one, we are going to have tan x equals 1 minus open bracket 1 minus 2 sine squared x so we are trying to prove these relations divided by sine 2x then we have this equals when we open this parenthesis plus 1 minus 1 cancelled and we have only 2 sine squared x divided by sine 2x and all this equals tan x then so then we have 2 sine square x which is 2 sine x multiplied by sine x divided by and y sine 2x is giving us 2 sine x multiplied by cos x so sine cancel sine and 2 also cancel 2 we have only sine x divided by cos x, which is equals tan x. So this proves the identity. And if you now recall back from what we have from the beginning, 
we are now going to confirm the equation that f of u equals 1 minus cos 2x divided by sine 2x. So in the next step, let's start and replace sine 2x with u because we have already let sine 2x equals u from the beginning of this. So we have f of u equals 1 minus cos 2x divided by u. So we are trying to replace everything here to express everything here in terms of u. It is left to us to make cos 2x in terms of u as well. So how can we do this? So if you recall that from the trigonometric identity of let's say we have cos square x this equals 1 minus sine squared x. So similarly if you have cos squared 2x this also equals 1 minus sine squared 2x. So we need only cos 2x and here is cos squared 2x. It means we have to take the square root of both sides. So by taking the square root of both sides, we are going to have only cos 2x all raised to the power of 2. We can still do it in this way. Equals 1 minus open bracket sine 2x all raised to the power of 2. So the next is we are going to replace everything in the given f of u. So here we have cos squared 2x equals to this. So let's replace it. You know, we take the square root of both sides. So this takes cos 2x equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus sine 2x all raised to the power of 2. So this is what we are going to have. So here we have f of u equals 1 minus. So we go for the positive here. So I'm going to neglect the negative. So here we have the square root of 1 minus sine 2x all raised to the power 2 divided by u. But sine 2x is given as u already. So replacing that we have 1 minus the square root of 1 minus u all raised to the power 2 then divided by u. So this is what we are going to have. So this is still plus. We are considering plus. So after having this, then we are going to replace every single u with x since we are interested to find f of x. So here we have f of x equals 1 plus square root of 1 minus x squared divided by x. And what we are going to do is, I don't want to see this x at this denominator. So what you can just do is, we try to rationalize this. When we rationalize the numerator by just multiplying everything with here is 1 plus root 1 minus x squared divided by x. Then multiply by 1 minus root 1 minus x squared divided by 1 minus root 1 minus x squared. So when we take the product of this, so at the numerator, we are going to have only x squared divided by x multiplied by square root of into bracket of 1 minus square root of 1 minus x squared. And x cancelled x. We have only x. So, therefore, our f of x is given as x is given as x divided by 1 minus the square root of 1 minus x squared. So, where the value of x here is as a close interval from minus 1 to 1. So, any other values does not uh, satisfy this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next class.